morning everyone. Kylie and Aaron with Lone Rock Longhorns. We have a busy day today. Do you want to tell them why? Because my wife was worried about the babies getting stickers on them. <laughs> um, we will, well actually you guys have seen in some of the previous videos with Cash, the baby donkey, I've, I've mentioned that we've got cockaburs and uh, one of the pastures, our, the main calving pasture we have this year, uh, has tons of cockaburs in it and it's only in one low-lying area. And so yesterday, I'll try to add a video to this today, um, Aaron had the pleasure of uh, picking off a bunch of cockaburs off of a calf. So we're going to try to pick up as many as we can with the skid steer and then uh, Aaron's going to disc it under. So, and then we'll take care of the, the planting or the re-sprouting issue in the spring, hopefully. Um, but not only that, uh, it's a feed day, so we'll grab some videos of that, but it's also his birthday. Well, I guess it's almost your birthday. It's his birthday weekend. His birthday's on Monday, so we are going to um, try to get everything wrapped up today pretty early um, in hopes of getting out and we're gonna take him out on the town tonight, so. Ooh, real wild. <laughs> yeah, he's not in a very good mood right now. He was waiting for a, a, tra a, a part to a tractor tire from John Deere and it's was supposed to happen today, but they apparently closed early for some reason, so. He just got that phone call, so that's why he's he's not in a good mood. <laughs> so your truck will leave outside when the hailstorm comes. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be pretty gross here tomorrow, uh, storm-wise. So we'll see. It's too early for tornadoes, I hope. But anywho, we'll um, keep you guys updated on all the babies so far. I think we're up to three babies. So two heifers, one bull. So we will uh, keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. What'd you just do? Nobody sent any mail. Nobody sent us any mail. Guys, we opened a P.O. box in small town, Glencoe, Oklahoma. Because several of you had asked about um, sending us letters and whatnot, so. No, I'm disappointed. <laughs> birthday, birthday boy is gonna cry now. <laughs> but, um, I will put a link um, in our description below with our uh, P.O. Box address if you guys do ever want to send us any cards or anything like that or questions and concerns or all of the above. <laughs> it's entirely too we, much stuff. Don't send that much stuff. Yeah. But we would enjoy hearing from you guys. So I will, I'll put that in the description. So I just picked up our first bill. You won't believe my wife. But look what I... She tried to turn down my podcast instead of pause it. We were trying to learn things. I just want to see this baby. Uh, As you guys know, I Aaron gets to check cows and feed everybody during the week. And so I have not seen... A, ooh. <laughs> Mama don't like you already. I don't get to see all the babies. So this is my first, uh, I guess, real not c-sectioned baby to see this year so let's see how feisty mama gets hi oh it's a little heifer erin might have fun with this one she is actually our most feisty cow we own so <laughs> he may not get to get a hand on this baby I think that baby is a little older than the ones we've been getting, huh? <laughs> when they get their legs on them, it's hard, huh? But you yeah, had got when, another little heifer, when so. A, when there's a cow that we need to sell, it's hard. Yeah. Now you girls gonna have some babies. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Mama. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Mama, 
Mama's gonna go hide her baby, but we at least know she's here and she's healthy, so we know who she belongs to. I guess I'm gonna get to walk. <laughs> this girl's looking really close. I love calving season. Yes, I know. Lots of hay, lots of poop. It's all part of winter. Don't freak out on us. Hi, girls. Slid in that pile of poo. That was almost bad. I know. Well, I think you guys have the gist of uh, what he's about to do. So we're going to hang this up and then I'm going to go it's count cows. Coming, and then it's gonna be a you guys ever feel like things are watching you? So we're moving the tractor and disc over to um, the pasture we're calving at. We unfortunately are dealing with a bunch of cockaburs. I've spent most of the morning on the skid steer getting the, uh, trying to pick them up and put them into brush piles and where we can get a majority of them to hopefully burn and and get him out of the way. But um, he's gonna disc up the ground and kind of, I know it doesn't make any sense, but we're gonna disc up the cockaburs that's left into the ground. I know it's planting them, but then we're going to um, spray it uh, when they start coming up and that should be our, a good way to get those all killed out. So stay tuned. So it's really hard for me to get a video running. The, the skid steer takes two hands. Um, but I should, I wish I had got a picture before. This whole area down here in this bottom were probably
probably, I don't know, waist high cockaburs. So I've got a majority of them pushed up into piles. And now Aaron's working it through. Um, the biggest issue we were having is all of our cows were getting covered in them. And um, there's a video from yesterday. I'll add it to this video today. Um, we had a calf that was born and mama bedded it down down here because you can see we're in a valley here Yesterday was pretty windy mama bedded it down here and Aaron had the lovely pleasure of picking Hundreds of cockaburs off of her yesterday um, So that's why we're doing this It will be a pain Come spring when everything starts growing, but We can get down here with the tractor very easily and spray this when we spray the entire property for weeds and pre-emergence and all that so we should be able to get this hopefully get a good handle on it this is the first uh actually second year we've had this prop since we bought the property so the joys of getting properties cleaned up right here but this will be a whole lot better for our mamas and then the babies if they can't get there's a good that is exactly what was every <laughs> This whole valley was covered in, so at least they won't get uh, covered in them at birth, and hopefully the mamas will not be covered in them either. So, but Aaron's just gonna go a couple more rounds, and then we're gonna probably call it a day out here and head back to the house and do some chores around the house. Careful. You be nice. Good girl. You have one of those soon, huh? He's a new friend. Does she lick you? Ah, oh. ah, oh. hey, dirty. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So, what was that? <laughs> Come on, Duke. Well, it's chilly out here today. Watch out! Are you full of yourself, huh? I don't know. We had him locked in the barn most of the day because it's just cold. Sun finally came out. Eat those weeds. There you go. That a boy. Val's been having some uh, poop issues. We got her some medicine today from the vet and getting all that under control. And you, as you can see, it hasn't slowed her down any, so that's wonderful. <clears throat> they call them calf scours when they get diarrhea. And uh, it could be just the milk replacer and just... Uh, bumping her up in feed, but it's been a couple days now. Hey, come here. Come here. She still she almost fit under my truck. Um, but we uh, got some medicine, some good medicine from the vet, and it goes in her bottle, and so she gets that for a couple days, and oh, she's actually under my truck. <laughs> hey, you're gonna get stuck. Hey. You're going to get stuck. What is that, kitty? Hi, buddy. So, hopefully she gets much better, but at least it's not, uh, she's definitely not dehydrated or anything, so. <laughs> hey, come here. Come here. 
Val, come here. You cannot go. Don't try to get on that rock. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Duke. Get a goat, they said. It'll be fun. Don't eat my plants. Quit. Go. Go. Aaron's gonna be mad that I pick you up. Come on. So I know in the last video we mentioned that we were bringing the bulls in. So that means big boys get to be back out with their herd. And they are thrilled. Are you happy to be back out, bud? Jackson. Hey. You who? Hi. Are you happy? You have such a big mouth full of hay, you can't even talk. <laughs> I think he's pretty, pretty content. <clears throat> but... You guys saw that the calving season for the Angus has officially started. We're a week or two early, which is pretty normal. So we'll uh, be on the lookout for these girls. Could start, bless you. <laughs> Could start anytime. I think this girl will be pretty soon. Much bigger bag than everybody. Longhorns especially, this area right here gets very, very loose um, and caved in, but right before they calve, and hers isn't yet, but it's very a, a good telltale sign that calving is close. I brought all the heifers up <clears throat> yesterday. I was a bad gatekeeper, and she got out. Aaron's being nice to me, but <laughs> definitely my fault. <clears throat> but she's she looks pretty far from being calved or calving anytime soon, so I think we'll be okay. Hi, sweetie. You should have a baby soon. Your bag's not big though. Hey, Lib. I think Chex is much happier being out here with the girls, too. Hi. You look so mean walking up with your ears back. Yeah. You're not mean, are you? No. Furthest from. Guard dog, or guard donkeys. Psh. You just want to be petted. Oh, I need to get a boo-boo. That is definitely a hoof. <laughs> Probably from her brother. Let's see it, sister. That's not too bad. It'll be okay. You're tough. So that's, it may look bad on camera, but it's just a, a cut. It's not deep or anything, so she'll be okay. <clears throat> Donkeys are extremely tough, especially this one. I guess we can, I'll try to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, so this is Elsa, like the movie Frozen. Use you. She was born, um, she's going on two, but she was born prematurely um, in the middle of a ice storm. Her mama is one of the, the ones that's out with the jacks right now. But she, uh, because she was premature, her back legs, if you guys can see, she doesn't have tendons in her back legs, on her back ankles areas. Um, so her feet have adapted and she has actually grown hoof. Where's my finger? <laughs> Your nose isn't helping. Grown hoof back in, that did not used to be there. Um, I'll try to find some videos of when she was little. She lived her entire life in a stall with her mom. We tried corrective shoeing. We tried casting. We, I mean, anything and everything you can think of, we tried with her and it was not working and she just was not living the best of life. So <clears throat> we made the decision to let her out and just let her be a donkey. And lo and behold, she's 
donkeys amaze me. Um, she's adapted to it and she's perfectly healthy and does not slow her down whatsoever. So <clears throat> every once in a while we'll get, I'll show you if he'll hold still. So you have her feet and then you have his feet and kind of tell the, the difference there. But um, we have had to ferry her out. Um, we have to sedate her, which donkeys are very notorious for being stubborn. And that also includes uh, sleepy medicine. <laughs> and so it's pretty dangerous um, to give her too much. And that's just something that we don't ever want to risk on her. So we haven't had the ferry out in a while, but they do chip off just naturally. This guy's never been trimmed. And see how well his feet look. And her front feet look great. Just her back feet are a little long because she doesn't uh, step on them regularly. But we definitely won't let them get much longer than they are now before biting the bullet and having the vet come out. <clears throat> but that's Elsa's story. That's why she's so darn sweet and not a guard donkey because she uh, grew up a pet. <laughs> It actually made her mom pretty sweet too. Her mom was pretty darn wild when she had her and it doesn't slow her down one bit. It's a race to the buggy to see what's back there. <laughs> Golly, it's cold. How fuzzy all the girls are. <laughs> Look at her. Says, brr. At least it's not snowing. See, I told you. They'll find anything open that I left back there. But I just wanted to hop on here and show you the boys. We're back out with the girls. Yep. Hey, Jackson. So I probably... <laughs> Donkeys. Gotta love them. Especially her. Hi, bud. Are you gonna tell him good night? You tell him good night? Hey, hey. Focus. You're not hungry, I promise. You tell him good night? Good night. <laughs>